Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the intermediate data analysis in our tutorial series. So for the past few days, we have been looking at different things associated with loops like for loops, while loops, repeat loops and also nested loops. So today we will be continuing with the nested loops and we will be just looking at an example of a nested for loop within a data frame. So for that, let's first create a sample data frame. So it looks something like this with three columns for one for trees, one for location and one for height. And so what we'll be doing here is maybe let's run this code so that I can explain it better. Okay, let's run this as well. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do here is that I'm trying to use the nested for loop and I'm creating a new column where the new height that I generate is same as the previous height column except for the first three rows. For the first three rows, I want to make the height multiplied by 10. So if you check the new data frame that is created, we see that for the first three rows, the height new is a is 10 multiplied by the previous height so we have 60 100 and 130 versus rest of the rows is the same as the previous height so how i do is that we have one loop here the j1 within the main loop which is i in one to end row tf example so df example is our data frame and end row gives us the number of rows so if you just run this we will get the total number of rows which is 9 so what we are doing here is that here we are starting with i in 1 to n row so i goes from 1 to 9 and here we state that we want to create a new column called height new and we tell that okay the height new values are gonna be the same as the column height and then we will have a nested for loop here and in this case we tell that for j in 1 to 3 so that means that only for values of j 1 2 and 3 so in these three cases we want the height new the value of this new column that is created to be multiplied by 10 so let's say for example when it's the first row it will be multiplied by 10 it's the same for the second row and the third row but when it's the fourth row that is uh, when j equal 4 uh, it don't multiply by 10 because here we have given the condition that it has to be done only when j equal 1 to 3 so this is a classic example on how we can use the nested for loop by using something like indexing here if you have it like let's say 1 it just give you the first value so it's a way of indexing but these are very useful well that's all for now i hope you guys found this example useful if you're interested in learning more about the for loops or while loops or those kind of things i will list the link to those videos in the description section i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video till then ciao